Eric Mwad with Mwad.com. Let's take a look and see whether we can see what Apple is trying to say on the charts. First and foremost, let's take a look at the monthly. And we can see if we go back to the monthly about three, four months ago, we were suspecting that it could bounce in this level here just above the 90 level or let's call it lower 90s. The stock looked like it could bounce based on the monthly chart and we had discussed that. This was the entry in 2009 which was successful in taking the stock higher. As you can see, nice run since 09 lows. And if we draw a line from here, the stock has been responding nicely over the last couple of years. On the monthly, every time it comes to that level, it bounces. So it hit that line here for this re-entry in late 2013. And over the last couple of months, going into last year, it hit that line twice double bottom support during this period and of course since then we've seen a recovery even as it moved back above rsi 50 there was another increase in momentum so that's the long-term monthly chart going back 2003 but if you take a look at the weekly chart and here we have a five-year weekly chart or i believe a four-year weekly chart draw a line connecting the lows of the rsi on the weekly going back 2013 so there was a trend line break sometime let's call it here um april may of last year which was off the highs here we haven't been back to those levels so we draw a line from that decisive break and again here we see evidence that the stock's been coming back to that level on the weekly rsi and showing rejection it showed rejection on that line there for these highs and then we hit here the last couple of weeks and pull back slightly coming back and doing the same thing so i suspect around here we might get a double top on this red line on the weekly time frame on the rsi suggesting that more than likely around here the stock trading here at about 114 115 somewhere around here might be telling us that the chart is suggesting the stock wants to pull back so that's one layer of resistance let me share with you another layer of resistance and again, go to the RSI lows, 2013, extend that out. There was a break of this trend line here, middle of 2015, of these levels. So what you do is extend the same line. Should be something like that. And what you see is that since this backtest failure here, and again here, which gave us the high on a weekly closing basis there and there, we are coming back to do the same thing here and here, suggesting that this is also telegraphing, especially if you add the previous line, that this is where one can expect the next meaningful swing trade for Apple in the short term, in the coming weeks, to be pointing down. Eric Mwada with Mwada.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, I, C, S. Dan, 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 dan. Testing. Dan dan dang. One, two, three. Dan 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 dang. Dan 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 dang. Dan 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 dang. Dan 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 dang. Dan 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 dang. Ta ta. Dan 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 dang.